Hi, and welcome back to the studio from me and from Ziggy. Uh, today we're going to be uh, doing a lighting setup that's one of my most requested lighting setups that I teach on my workshops. It's quite complicated, uh, four lights in total, very, very specific. Uh, we're going to use honeycombs and barn doors on them, but the lighting sources are going to be very direct, very narrow, so we're going to have to be moving those light sources uh, for each individual pose because those lights will be creating little pockets of light on the body wherever we want them. Okay. We're going to be creating a little window light in the background just here, sorry, um, and uh, that light isn't going to have any effect on the model whatsoever. It's just going to be there as a kind of a, a prop almost, going to provide some separation uh, between the background and the model and add a little something to the scene. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to get Ziggy out of the way. I'm going to set the studio up and we're going to start taking some pictures. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I think we're about ready. Just a couple of things to point out for you. Uh, we've got one light over here, which has got some barn doors and a little bit of diffusion paper on it. I'm gonna call that my main light. Um, that's gonna provide most of the illumination on, uh, on Roxy. And we've got two lights over here, both with these honeycomb grids on, and that's gonna provide a nice narrow beam of light that we can use to illuminate different parts of Roxy's body, get some nice highlights and some strong shadows because we can really pick out some definition uh, on Roxy's sort of uh, back and body and what have you. Uh, it's gonna look really amazing. Uh, as you can see, I've built a window light in the background here. Very, very simple. It's just a window frame made out of some uh, old uh, architraving and dado rail bolted together very crudely, but uh, just creates the illusion of a little window. One light behind that, as I said, that's not gonna have any effect on the model at all. It's just there as a prop, really. Uh, I've got a floor down, got my wooden floor, vinyl uh, floor, uh, really, really simple, rolls it out. It's just gonna bounce a little bit of light back into the set as well. If I had a black floor, it'd be really quite uh, a lot darker. Um, and I just, I just wanna lift that a little bit, so the floor works really well for that. Uh, got some props, uh, got some chains, uh, which uh, are going to help uh, Roxy to pose with, inject a bit of tension into the body, they work really well, and uh, just for a bit of fun, I've got a riding crop, uh, which Roxy is not allowed to use on me. Uh, okay, uh, I think that's about it, uh, so I'm going to go ahead, get our model, and uh, let's start shooting. <laughs> Okay, so I have my three lights uh, set onto our model here, Roxy, uh, who's wearing this uh, amazing outfit, which uh, we've uh, got hold of. First light, honeycomb, and we're just shining that across Roxy, just getting a little bit of light on her back, on her bottom, on her arm just there. And I've got my second light a little bit higher, and that's giving us uh, a little bit of light on her hair. Uh, and on her shoulder and back uh, just up here. So there's two lights working together, but slightly separated. So they're pointing at different parts of the body. Main light over that side, that's providing all of the illumination from that side and casting some nice shadows on the floor. I've purposely got Roxy's uh, hair in a ponytail because I want to see the in a, a definition in her back. Um, if I had her hair just kind of down her back, um, I wouldn't see any of the, uh, any of the back at all. Um, okay, so uh, let's get cracking and take some pictures. Thank you. 
That was great, it's got some really nice pictures there. Um, as you can see from the lighting, it's very, very specific. You know, one little turn of the light and it's gonna miss its target. A little turn back, hits exactly the right spot. So we create some really nice strong highlights and as we kind of adjust uh, Roxy's back and put her shoulders back, we see some really nice shadows and things coming into the back there, picking out the definition, that side lighting working really well. This light, as I said, nice big strong kind of uh, main light over that side, providing most of the light, which is why we've got Roxy facing that way most of the time. Those two uh, honeycombs on there doing their job in those little uh, specific hot spots, if you like. Okay, we're gonna move on, uh, do another pose now. Uh, very, very similar lighting, but again, we're gonna have to tweak those lights, get them in exactly the right place. Okay, uh, so uh, we'll um, carry on, shall we? Yep. Shall we carry on? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll carry on. We're gonna carry on. Uh, we got some really great pictures there, a lot of contrast again, some really nice strong highlights. Uh, however, kind of think that those nipple tassel things, those uh, tape uh, what's names are uh, spoiling the picture a little bit. So uh, for no other reason than the aesthetic appearance of the images, we're going to take those off. Uh, the nipple police uh, may be out, so I'm afraid that's the end of what you can see on the YouTube uh, channel. Uh, if you want to see the remainder of the video, you're going to have to head over to the members section on the website. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, please hit the like or the subscribe or both, and uh, hopefully you'll uh, come back and see more of my videos uh, at a later date. We'll see you on the other side. Mm -hmm.